Here's a couple more quick tips for uh, extreme close quarter stuff. Uh, uh, a lot of times, I mean, fights aren't perfect. You see people practicing, you know, they're up in front of a bag and they're firing stuff out of the bag and everything's technical. And if we were sparring and fighting, you know, we'd be at a stance and we'd be moving like that. But in a real fight, you know, you get smacked, you get hit, you get knocked up against something. So if I, uh, I'm gonna run you into this here. So, I, you know, I ran Jeremy into here, and boom, I hit him in a gut and I'm, I'm doing stuff from choking him or nailing him. What ends up happening is the hands come up into spontaneous positions of protection, right? Push away danger, start a flinch. Um, so what we want to have is not just that palm strike, but from in close, so cover your head, Jeremy, so we're in here like this. From in close, you might have that kind of dip drive stuff that we've already covered where you're coming up here. But what I love to show is also the, uh, um, the weapon system of the forearm, the forearm, and the elbow. So I'm going to cover some elbow stuff here. One of the classic elbows, if you've got space to move, is firing a vertical elbow, I call it a vertical elbow, up and inside here. And when people practice it, you'll see people doing stuff like in a class they're doing, they're throwing the elbow and they're trying to hit like that. Let me grab a ball here. So kind of do like a goofy leading with the, uh, leading with the uh, elbow. So you see people like this and they're trying to hit with an elbow and they're doing, you'll see them doing that sort of stuff. And one of my favorite kind of like light bulb cues as I go, hey, do you know how to do a front rack? Let me just see a front rack in terms of movement. I go, you've got the mobility. And guess what? If we, if we reverse or backtrack this here from the front rack, look where the hand position is. So if you remember our first, our first uh, in the series here is it was hands out, fingers splayed outside 90. So when I come up and I rotate through that front rack angle, I've got that mobility already there. What we need to do, again, I'm not saying, hey, the front rack is the elbow. What I'm showing you is that you already have a, a motor recruitment pattern, you already have some neuromuscular relationship of getting in that position. So now if I change that same thing here, where Jeremy squares off again, always lays his back, I'm in position. The only thing we modify is this, is because the elbow is gonna follow this trajectory, we wanna make sure that we're not standing, see how close I am here, where the risk is him actually hitting me. Always step off line, and what I'll have him do, if you're gonna fire an elbow, how close is the bad guy? So you want to think about this, if he extends to extend a palm strike towards me, okay? If you can hit me with a palm strike, I tell people, you know, don't go for the forearm and the elbow just because you like the shot. The bottom line is that you want to understand a little bit of proxemics. If I'm over here, palm strike's the move to, to go to. If I'm over here, maybe it's the forearm or the palm strike. If I'm in close here, the palm strike might be negated. You don't have a room to extend it. And now what you're doing is forearm or elbow. But what you want to do is you want to turn that over and get that torque there. So I just want you to combine that front rack speed, but, but violence of action. You're trying to pop through that. So we set it up where I'll set him down a little bit so he's a little broken. I call it broken Karen. You know, you're, you start off and you're clean with Karen, but at some point you get hit with the ball because you're tired. And now you're in this position. I call it the broken Karen position. I set it up, lace his back in here like this. Again, quarter extremity explode and just rip that elbow when you're ready. And you can imagine that hit coming up where somebody's in close. All of these moves like a Lego block work together. So nonviolent posture, palm strike, firing that elbow, they can all work in, in succession. Let's see that one more time. That was good. Again, you can't take, when I give examples of mountain climber or, or front rack or push up, you can't take them literally. They're just so you remember the 10,000 hours metaphor. Hey, I've done a whole bunch of these reps. I didn't realize I could apply it to protect myself, my family, or property. And now I'm going to go for it. Three, two, one, go. So when you're ready, three, two, one, go. Okay. And I'm getting hit back nice. And you can feel that. Um, and if you did it on somebody's sternum and felt just that shot come up there, you get a real sense of what that type of damage that would do if it caught you under the chin. One other elbow that I want to show you real quick while we're on the subject of elbows um, is, again, you're in the same position, your hands are covered up, you're practicing, and all I want you to do is think about reaching for your seatbelt as fast as you can. So if you reach for your seatbelt, you're coming around, your torque, you're coming around, like, so I'm in the car, I'm speeding, all of a sudden I see a car uh, behind me, I go, shit, that's a police vehicle, I don't have my seatbelt on, you know, I don't go like this in the car. I don't go, you know, and get my seatbelt and do some sort of like complex motor skill. It's like, oh shit, you know, and I grab my seatbelt and I put it on. I'm trying to camouflage it, but make it real fast, get it, get it in there. So what Jeremy's gonna do from this position, again, we set up the distance, right? So I don't wanna be here where I make him jump into it because now I'm messing with proximity. Keep this behavioral, keep this, keep this again, uncommon sense, just logical. Set up the distance where the elbow would be the choice speech, the go-to move. 
And then what I do is I, I replace where my head is with the ball. I, I might step off line, and then he's gonna go as fast as he can, create that tension here. As fast as you can, he's gonna reach for a seatbelt. Okay, and he gets hit. I want you to be more ballistic, get explosive, get your legs in there. Okay, and you can see a lot more, a lot more aggression like that. So if you'd imagine this has happened here, and he's like, hey man, take it easy. And then from here, whap, rips that across there, and that bone comes across there. So a couple of real simple things. Again, if you're having trouble with your, your, your mobility or range of motion here, just think front rack and it'll dial it in a lot more. Don't take these moves literally. You're not going for your seatbelt. You're not doing a front rack, but that range of motion and the muscle pattern is all there for you. God forbid you had to use it. Just fire that three, two, one, go. Practice a little bit on the med balls, get the laces back. You'll be good to go.